basically it was one of the things that were identified after Superstorm Sandy and Tropical Storm uh, Lee that you know we needed to help citizens be better prepared, be self-sustaining because when a when a big event like that happens, I mean resources are so uh, tapped out that you know people need to learn to be able to sustain themselves for a longer period of time than just like 24 hours. This idea that you should be ready for 72 hours. Well, New York State wanted to step that up a notch and go to seven to ten days. The thing that we find is that is having a plan um, for some of those basic things that we don't think about, and to at least have a plan to know how you're going to make contact with your family if you're separated, how to uh, get some of the, the things that we take for granted on a day-to-day -day basis to just have a plan on how you're going to um, be able to do those in case of a disaster, whether it's man-made, um, a natural disaster, things like that. So at least have a plan so you know what you're doing. Now we're going to talk about a little how to shut off some of the major power sources and fuel sources in our home. I want to reiterate, if you don't feel comfortable doing this, don't do it. And um, once you turn something off, don't turn it back on until a specialist or approved person has come through and shown you how to do that. And you're not doing this every time mom cooks, overcooks something on the stove. You're shutting these off if you had to evacuate and you had time to make your home safe. That's kind of where we would do this. People are less self-sufficient than they used to be. And uh, a lot of the things that are uh, brought up in this course are common sense to some people. And, and not so much to other people. 90% of that I think is being aware and, and part of this is waking up. And if you're awake and knowing that something can happen and preparing for that is just one step closer. And the backpacks have some of the uh, kind of the essentials, but it also gives you ideas on extra things that you might want to pack. Um, those tablets that they were talking about at the end, the purification tablets, I think I'd like to get some of those because if you have to go and you're walking on foot, I don't really see how it's practical to carry around a gallon of water per day per person, but um, having the ability to purify some water, that would be good, and maybe some collapsible, portable uh, water canteens so that you could you know, fill up water if you happen to stumble across some water that you don't know if it's drinking water or not, but then you could throw a tablet in there and have water on the go. It's a starter kit. It's for people to build upon and to add more things on the website. It'll tell you uh, additional items that you should put in there. And it's just a quick bag to take with you in case an emergency hits and you got to leave right away. We need to get back to being good neighbors. If uh, there's an area that I, I'm uh, lacking in as far as knowledge, my neighbor might be able to pick up the slack. And when we work as a community, we can take care of each other. And we benefit from everybody's knowledge and not just the knowledge we have for ourselves.